Donald Trump courted Jewish voters at events in Washington, D.C. on Thursday, warning that Israel would face total annihilation unless he's returned to the White House. The former president spoke to Jewish donors and an organization gathered to focus on efforts to fight anti-Semitism. Speaking at the Israeli-American Council National Summit, Trump talked about the Israel's prospects if he's not elected president in November. Israel will be faced not just with an attack, but with total annihilation, he said. And I hate to say it so much. It's total annihilation. That's what you're talking about. You don't have a protector. You have a big protector in me. You don't have a protector on the other side. And I've said long and loud, anybody, and especially over the last few years, anybody who's Jewish and loves being Jewish and loves Israel is a fool if they vote for a Democrat. Trump said Israel's survival now depended on him being elected to the White House. We're gathered tonight to talk about the sacred bond between the United States and Israel, and it's a bond that's in serious trouble. There's never been anything like it. I believe that we are closer to World War III than at any time in the history of this country since the Second World War. There's never been anything like this period of time that we're going through, and we have leaders that are grossly incompetent. They have no idea what's happening. Tonight, we honor the memory of all who lost their lives in the October 7th attacks, and we pray to God that Israel will redeem their deaths with ultimate victory over those who wish to destroy it. Israel will be faced not just with an attack, but with total annihilation, and I hate to say it so much, it's total annihilation. That's what you're talking about. You don't have a protector. You have a big protector in me. You don't have a protector on the other side. And I've said long and loud, anybody, and especially over the last few years, anybody who's Jewish and loves being Jewish and loves Israel is a fool if they vote for a Democrat. But beyond, beyond that, Beyond that, if they love Israel, anybody that votes for a Democrat or Kamala, especially because she's this is the worst ever. This is the worst you've ever had. This one makes Barack Hussein Obama look like he loved Israel by comparison. But you should have your head examined. You're going to get him out. Thank you. They've long dreamed of making all of this come true, and if Kamala Harris wins the election, her weakness and incompetence, she's grossly incompetent. Look, she can't do an interview, okay? And let me tell you, I won that debate by a lot. By, by a lot. Thank you, everybody. Under my leadership, my message today is very simple. If you want Israel to survive, you need Donald J. Trump as the 47th president of the United States. It's a very simple message. Very, very simple. Right? Trump is again insisting that he can win the state of New York, a Democratic stronghold, as he held a rally in Uniondale on New York's Long Island. He ripped into Democratic leadership in New York City in the state, blaming them for homeless people living in what he called horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What the hell do you have to lose, he said in asking for their votes. Trump lost New York to Democrat Joe Biden by more than 20 points in 2020. Trump also said he plans in the next two weeks to visit Springfield, Ohio, that's been the center of false accusations from the former president and his running mate, J.D. Vance, that members of the city's Haitian community are abducting and eating cats and dogs. Trump also said he plans to visit Aurora, Colorado, where he says a Venezuelan street gang with a small presence in the city has taken over a rundown apartment complex. Aurora police say that's not the case. And 
I'm thrilled to be back in the state I love with thousands of proud patriotic New Yorkers who are really the heart and soul of America. We know that. And the reason I'm here is because it hasn't been done in many decades. It hasn't been done for a long time, but we are going to win New York. But look at what has happened to New York and the other states, all run by radical left Democrats, every single one of them. Our heavy industries have exported overseas, and our middle class has been eviscerated right here at home, been eviscerated. Housing costs are out of control. Inflation has cost a typical family $28,000. Think of it, in less than four years, $28,000. And we filthy encampments. We have horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What those veterans, when they watch this, must be saying. But listen to this. Can you also imagine what the migrants must be thinking? They're saying, can you believe this? We just came from a place, in many cases, they were in prisons. And now they're living in hotel suites while our veterans are living on the street. And so I say to the people of New York, with crime at record levels, with terrorists and criminals pouring in, and with inflation eating your hearts out, vote for Donald Trump. What the hell do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? How about in Springfield, Ohio? They had 32,000. This is a little beautiful town. No crime, no problem. 32,000 illegal immigrants come into the town, 32. So they almost doubled their population in a period of a few weeks. Can you believe it? And you know what? They've got to get much tougher. I'm going to go there in the next two weeks. I'm going to Springfield and I'm going to Aurora. You may never see me again, but that's okay. Got to do what I got to do.